before we speak to Mark. We're going to show you a little bit of a Madonna acceptance speech. This was at the Billboard Awards two years ago. It's incredible. She addresses sexism, misogyny and feminism in the music industry when she won Woman of the Year in 2016. As women, we have to start appreciating our own worth and each other's worth. Seek out strong women to befriend, to align yourself with, to learn from, to be inspired by, to collaborate with, to support, to be enlightened by. I would have loved to have played so much more of that. It's way more powerful than that. But anyway, Mark, um, what's she like to work with? She's a genius. Um, she gets what she wants and she's always looking for something new. Mm. Um, she's a survivor as well, isn't yeah. she? I mean, think about it. I mean, she came to New York, I was just saying this on social media today, with, I think it was like $100 in her pocket. And look at her now, a billionaireess, a total legend, you know, an activist, everything. Mm. You say she always gets what she wants. What does that mean when you're working with her? Well, when you're working with somebody like Madonna, um, she's very focused on finding the very, very latest kind of trend, what's going on. So she's good at finding things and discovering people and giving people opportunities to shine. What kind of influence do you think she's had on the music industry and, and choreography? You know, with the music industry, I mean, she's a total legend. She's gone through every different type of style, every genre, and I think she's she's she slammed it let, let, let's just be honest and i think with the dance uh, side of it she's so encouraging to dancers and even if she's doing a five minute appearance you know madonna believes in practice 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 and finding the best talent you can get right so she's a pro in that sense she she's got an incredible work ethic hasn't she and amazing it's, it's one of those things that people don't believe in until they see it and mm -hmm. you know if madonna says she's turning up to start work at nine o'clock, she'll turn up one minute beforehand and she'll be on time. And she likes people that have got the same sort of work ethic. Mm. When you were a young teenager, you, it was your dream actually to work with her, wasn't it? Yeah, I think when I was a kid, um, you know, I grew up in uh, Hounslow West and, you know, my dad's Indian, my mum's Irish and you never think you're going to do it. But there was a deep inside. I used to say to my parents, you know what, I'm going to work with Michael Jackson and I'm going to work with Madonna. And they said, yeah, OK, son. Who did you prefer working with out of those two? You know what? They're both very interesting characters and they're both very, very strong. And they, I can't, I, I really can't say because, you know, Madonna's got some, some things, Michael's got the other things. What I know is that they're creative geniuses and nobody is going to forget mm. who they are and what they've done. What do you think about the criticism that she has endured over, the, over many decades, um, you know, too sexual, too sexualized? For when she was in her 20s and 30s to now she's she should act her age she should stop you know doing stuff to her face etc etc you know what's all this kind of acting your age you know she's a strong woman who knows what she wants she probably understands more about real life than most people that are in Parliament today, and I think Do there's. You reckon? A, I, I think I think so. I think so. I think you know. I mean, she's a, she's a single mum. I mean, Madonna is one of these people where you know a lot of people think that you know she's going to be driving around in limos all the time. When she was living in London, she was driving around a car. She was meeting people. She's very approachable and very you know she she's a great she businesswoman. I think she I, is. I would she love really to interview is. Madonna. I would I, I would be scared. I've got to be honest. I would she would scare me. She's she's a, she's a strong woman, and maybe it's because I come from that kind of you know line of actually having four sisters. So I'm used to working with women, and you know my my whole staff are women because I think they work, you know. They're, they're just a lot harder workers and I think people are scared of strong women and I, you know out there and I, and I love it I think it's brilliant that somebody comes in they know what they want you know they create and look at it, her she's 60 she has sold 300 million records I mean I've done two or three videos with her you know they had billions of plays I mean how can you criticize anyone like that thank you very much Mark Thanks thank for you on the program thank you